All right, green light, let's go. Okay, what are you doing? That is too close to that curb. Hey everyone, just another Tesla tie here. Going over to Amazon Fresh to pick up some groceries. And, uh, all right, a car just cut in front to make a turn on right because the car's in front did not turn on right. So, turn on right. Uh, turn on red, sorry. Uh, all right. All right, let's just get X great full self driving. It'll be mostly highway driving. Um, just want to see how 12 version 12.3 will perform on the highway. All right, it's evening rush hour, so we'll see what happens. All right, engaging full self driving. See, um, okay, we can go now, and it should take it. And it takes it. Oh, okay, great. All right, good job on that one. Didn't think it would actually take it, but it did. Okay, slow down for this car, but we kind of went a little further up, but that's okay. All right, getting onto the highway now. Let's see if it stays on the left lane. It moved over and then had its blinkers on. I'm gonna force here. And we're not gonna make it. Alright, we're not gonna make it. Alright, green light, let's go. Okay, what are you doing? That is too close to that curb. I disengage because it was too close to that curb in the middle. So I disengage. It was the car was too close to the curb and it seemed like it wanted to get on the curb. All right, send that recording. So for the most part, I'm okay with trying to let the car figure out what needs to be done, but not when there are cars behind me and this is evening rush hour traffic. I'm not about to cause an accident, letting the car try and figure out what it's supposed to do. Let's uh, re-engage. Okay. Like here, it's going at 32, speed limit is 35. I wanted to increase it to go a little bit faster, um, but you can't with the auto max on when you're on the streets. This is going way too slow. I'm gonna press on the pedal for this to go, but that, that was just too slow. It's going at 31. Lots of cars behind me. Okay, all right, changing lanes are so I forgot to turn on, turn off that uh, minimal lane changes. So, turn it on that now. Really wish they let me just keep the lane change to so none. Way too many cars behind me to let it go at the speed limit. Um, which I know most of you will say, why aren't you going the speed limit? Isn't it wrong? Yes, technically it is wrong. It's illegal to go over the speed limit. But in these incidents, it's even worse to go under the speed limit and not match with the flow of traffic. There are cars behind me waiting to get home everyone's going 60 and if I'm going at 40 that's really bad because that can cause an accident so keeping up with flow of traffic is the more right thing to do in this situation like behind me is a car right at my heels and it's going at 63 and it's just going way too slow so I am going to merge over back to the middle lane because it's just not going at the speed it needs to to be on the fast lane. Okay, I'm gonna disengage a little bit because there was a roll kill there. So I move a little 
little bit over to the left side for the eye avoided that. Alright, back up to 70, I'm just bring it down to 65. So we need to exit here at exit 9. So for you guys, for people that doesn't know here at exit 9, there's it's an exit ramp and there's two lanes. On the left side is if you're going east, on the right side is if you're going uh, west. So with full self driving, it always forget to, yeah. So this is, yeah. So what happened is I need to get on the ramp here and stay on the left side, which is going east. But whenever I'm going east, it never takes the exit. If I'm going west, it's fine and it does take the exit. But whenever I need to go east, it never takes the exit, just like now. It missed the exit. So I did disengage. And I'm still controlling the car right now. All right, let me just uh, re-engage. Making sure this car stops. All right, this car stops. Okay. And I guess once I get past here, this car right next to me. All right. That's I might disengage because there's a huge, or there was a huge puddle of water here. I'm not sure if it's still here. And yep, it is. Pretty sure most of everything won't avoid it, so. I want to avoid it. All right, so avoiding huge puddle of water. Send that recording over, so maybe it can be addressed in the next couple of updates. So I'm handling the drive right now. Uh, make sure we're clear, and we are. All right, engaging. So start driving again. I guess I'm guessing, but it did not need to do that. And it backed up the speed to 50, 51. I'm gonna test my theory and move over to the faster way. And let's see if that will get the car to speed up a little bit. to the exit lane in two miles it hurt me I guess and moved over
was the car, that was not me. But I think it tried to slow down earlier back then so that it can get over to this lane, but shouldn't be doing that. Plenty of time to get over. Alright, so we're gonna enter here. Exit here, I guess. Speed limit is 15 here. Stop sign. Okay. Quite a hard stop. Uh, the speed limit here is 50. I don't think you need to go at 21 in a parking lot. So when it needs to go fast, it doesn't. And when it doesn't need to go fast, it does. I'll let it turn in here. I'm gonna force. Uh, let's see if I know what to do. I'm just gonna pull out right here and just look for a spot and let it park. Yeah, and that was full side driving. That was all the way here to Amazon Fresh. Three disengagement. One, it seemed like it was gonna hit the curb but it may have been aiming for the leftmost lane. I tend to go for the middle lane, so to me, it seemed like it was gonna hit the curb, but there were cars there. It's evening rush hour. I'm not about to let the car figure it out. Um, second one, I disengaged because of a roll kill. Tesla won't, I'm not sure when will Tesla like vision see that and then try to avoid it, but we'll see. Um, the next one was really, Sorry, I guess fourth disengagement. The third one was when I was ex when it was exiting, it missed the lane. It missed the exit lane. Has happened before. So not a rare occurrence with 12.3. It has happened on 11.4, 11.3. And last one was just avoiding that uh, puddle of water on the ground, which was a more of a preference. But if I can avoid it, why would I want to hit the puddle? But otherwise, yeah. I mean, it's okay drive, but it's just way too slow. Way too slow on the local streets with the auto max speed. Way too slow. Really wish I can um, adjust that as we go faster. So, we'll see. Maybe next couple updates. But let me know what you think about this drive down in the comments below. Alright, thanks for watching this one. Bye for now.